Алексея Полюховича! Алексея Полюховича! Алексея Полюховича! Надежде Солоконниковой! Надежде Солоконниковой! Надежде Солоконниковой! Мария Алехиной! Мария Алехиной! Сергей Кривов глагает в тюрьме 40 дней! Сергей Кривов владеет в тюрьме 40 дней. Что это имя, пожалуйста? Наталья Перловайн. Спасибо. Наталья, можете мне сказать, что происходит сегодня здесь? Ну, есть протест, и есть много людей здесь, даже если это достаточно холодно. И протест имеет дело с реальным обвинением протестеров, которые были арестованы на 6 мая в ночь. Uh, a protest on uh, Balotnaya Square. Um, many people were taken. There was a what authorities believe was a riot. However, it, it did end up getting messy, but we're not sure who provoked the whole messiness, the whole the whole situation. Uh, there were quite quite a few brutal beatings, etc. Um, both sides were involved, supposedly. And now, uh, around 13 people are in jail. And they're not even leaders of the opposition. They're just regular activists, uh, many of them young people, uh, who were arrested that day, who are still in jail six months on, and who, who are facing charges that might uh, might end up in jail sentences six years or more. Uh, so it's a, it's a very uh, it's a very dire situation because those people don't believe they're guilty of anything. They have not pleaded the guilty. They want to prove their innocence. It's extremely hard to do because uh, Russian authorities are uh, determined to make this case a political case. For them it's a political case. For them it's a, it's, a, it's a way to show the rest of the country really that first of all if you go to those protests you might end up getting arrested. And secondly, you know, people go to protests are just barbaric, you know, uh, homeless, uh, nothing to do people. Uh, Sergei Krivov, actually, is very much a unique case. He's 51 years old. He's a father of, uh, of uh, two kids, I believe. He has PhD. He's a professional guy. I know him from other protests that we've This conducted. guy is not criminal, not he's not criminal. Being like gangs he's very, nothing. nothing like that. He's very calm, very collected. I know him personally. He's a, he's a very sensible guy. I don't believe he would ever be uh, in a situation where he would be aggressive towards anybody, even police officers. I don't, I don't believe that's the case. And uh, he certainly doesn't accept his uh, his uh, his charges. He thinks he's innocent, and he went on hunger strike. And he's been he's been on hunger strike for 35 day. days. 35 days. 35 days today. Today, I believe it's 35 days, maybe 36 already. Uh, but that's a really long time. And all he drinks is water uh, with sugar, and uh, and and that's it. And he obviously lost a lot of weight. He's How not feeling think? very what well. What do you want to say, this guy? What is his message? His message is this is not right. This is you know why protest. I ask you? I'm sorry. I ask you that's why. All world watching Russian TV, but all world think it's true what's going on in Russia. Well, but precisely. Tell me what what want to say this guy now? Well, what he feels? The truth is very hard to get out because we have very little access to to the media, um, except for the internet, and even that's limited to a degree. The, he wants to say that this is all a political case, that he's innocent, he, has not, he, he did not uh, assault anyone, he should not be on the charges that are put against him, and uh, out of protest, as people do, he went on hunger strike. How long he will remain on hunger strike, we don't know, but obviously it's a very dangerous situation uh, for his health. His family is very worried and we want to support him because we want the truth. Um, we want the truth for him, we want the truth for the rest of the people in jail on those charges. Uh, and it's very, very hard to get the truth in this country at the moment because, uh, uh, you know, the Kremlin and, and Putin is determined to keep one line of politics and that is, it's them against us and we are in the minority and and we're you know we're the losers who know nothing and who would actually who want bad things for their country and probably work for the for the u.s state department natalie today it's very cold i want to ask you last question tell me how you think russian government uh, he wants to talk to people from protest how you think russian government hurts these people from russian protest 
Russian government what again? Want to talk to people from protest. Do they want to talk to us? How you think? I really don't think they want to talk to us. I think they want to ignore us. Uh, All I, of them I think, uh, I think they want to ignore the whole protest altogether. I don't think they think we are influential enough yet. I don't think our leaders even are influential enough yet. Um, at the same time, just to be on a safe side probably for them, they will continue to pressure the leaders of the opposition, they will continue to uh, start up criminal cases against people such as Navalny and Udaltsov with possible jail sentences. They just want a, a lockdown on the country. They want to make sure that suddenly our movement doesn't grow. Uh, you know, very big, let's say, and becomes a real threat. I don't think they see it as a threat right now, but I think they do know that their position is very unstable. And so if, if we sustain, if we continue as we do, anything could happen tomorrow. So they do want to keep control a lid over it. And they and they will be pretty brutal with us, I think, in the, in the future in terms of uh, in terms of protests um, and in terms of possible criminal charges against many of us, who knows? Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate Good luck. It. Thank you.